Russell Fry wants you to know he's just a normal guy from Mackay. I guess sometimes I wonder what all the fuss is about. He has two children, a fiance and a dog. He works in mining. Hey Helen. Morning, how are you? And loves to work out. There's one thing that sets Russell apart. He does all of that with one arm. I probably consider myself to be pretty lucky in the fact that I never had an accident that put me in this situation. It's just a situation I was in from when I was born. Growing up, Russell never thought he was any different, but there were challenges. As a teenager, he desperately wanted to join the army. Despite this level of physique... They wouldn't even give him the opportunity to, be a, to do a functional assessment test. With that dream shattered, he was even more determined. Sport was, and still is, everything, from bull riding to boxing. I competed in the world titles for Muay Thai in Thailand. Not against other adaptive athletes. Russell Fry in the blue corner. Russell only ever goes up against able body competitors. I won more fights than I lost. As he got older, he gave boxing away. Now when he's not at the gym or conquering mountains on his bike, he competes in an even more gruelling sport, Spartan endurance races. This is probably the standout for me. This is, this is the ultra. Hence why it looks bigger and bulkier and more impressive than the others. It does, yep. But that one was 55 kilometres. Um, took me 10 and a half hours and it was the hardest thing I've ever done. But his greatest achievement is his children, Madison and Lauren. What do you think of your dad? Um... He's awesome. Two years ago, he met Kerry and recently popped the question in true Russell style. A recent trip to Canada, he, um, we did a five pitch climb and on the third pitch he proposed on the side of the mountain when I was terrified of my life. <laughs> but yeah, it was amazing. For the record, Kerry said yes and we can hardly wait for the wedding. Nothing stops him. He just doesn't see that there's any limits in life. All of it made easier with the help of Feros Care and just a few attachments. We support participants of the NDIS to identify their goals and then to achieve them. So that's with funding and with supports and services that we can build in, and in Russell's case, assistive technology, so all the wonderful prosthetics and sporting attachments that he's received. I've got the same attachment on my, on my mountain bike, and I figured once, once I was able to hurdle down mountains and, and successfully and, and not come into too much carnage, um, you know, any more than anybody else, then um, I figured I could, there's no reason that I couldn't sit on a motorbike. What he can't buy, he makes. I can paddle <clears throat> on this side that way and then just swap over and, and, and still paddle on that side. Russell can ride a motorbike, mountain bike, paddleboard, drive a boat and a car. What can't he do? Ow! Sorry. Hair is one. <laughs> he says it's the little things most of us take for granted that are hard, like handshakes. Everyone instinctively out. Puts, puts out their right hand. Yeah. So then we have this little dance where I go to compensate and they go to compensate. A bionic hand will change that. Affects how, how he can be a parent, how he can work. Yeah, it's amazing. And funding has just been approved. This was a trial. The real thing will arrive soon. Well, for me, that, that makes life as close to normal as possible. Just imagine what he'll do next.